Hello, friends. Welcome to We Are the Church, a ministry of the First United Methodist Church of Orange. My name is Carol Hilton, and I'm one of the people that work at the Downtown Orange Preschool that's here on our campus. Obviously, I'm not Pastor Bill, who's normally talking to you. He is on a well-deserved vacation with his family this week, so I'll be sharing with you in just a few minutes right after this very brief musical interlude. I have a little devotional book with me today. It's one that I use often. And I'm gonna to read to you from today's devotion for July and it's from Psalms the verse is Psalm 16 verse 8 I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand I shall not be moved hmm set the Lord always before me what does that mean Let's see what this person had to say first before I share a little bit. What does it mean to set the Lord always before you? It means that you choose to relate everything you encounter to your trust in God. What you choose to focus on becomes the dominant influence in your life. You may be focusing on your problems, then they'll become the most important thing in your life. If you always focus on your problems, your problems will determine the direction that your life will take. If you focus on people, then people will determine what you think and do. In biblical times, the right hand was the most distinguished position. It was reserved for one's chief advisor and supporter. We still have that expression today. Oh, he's my right hand man, right? When you choose to focus on Christ, you invite him to take the most important position in your life, at your right hand, as counselor and defender. Hmm. I have set the Lord always before me. So life isn't easy. We all have problems, every one of us, no matter how well we try to live our lives. There's always unexpected things that happen. You never know from day to day what you're going to encounter. Maybe you've been mistreated by somebody. Maybe you've been misunderstood. That's hurtful. Maybe you come into some horrible crisis, um, a disaster like an earthquake or a flood or a fire or something like that. There might be a person in your life who's upsetting you, bothering you, annoying you terribly all the time. It becomes a constant thorn in your side. Maybe you're in some kind of a fearful position. You just found out that you have an illness or a dear family member has a terrible illness or <clears throat> you've lost your job and you're worried about finances. All kinds of things plague us every single day. So we can't face these things alone. We have to turn to the Lord to look for our direction and guidance. So as I said here before, if you're focusing on your problems, if you're focusing on what that crisis is, if you're worrying about those things, then you can't focus on what's most important of all. We can't solve these things ourselves. We all know that. It's so hard to get beyond the emotions that we feel when we face these things. They're so hurtful. They're so worrisome. It's so hard to put them out of our mind and trust that God is going to take care of them. But it says right here, keep God before everything that you do. Look to him, trust in him in everything that you do. And he is more than capable of taking care of every single one of those mountainous, awful, horrible situations. Whether it's with people, whether it's just a job situation, whether it's a crisis in your life, maybe the pipes under the sink just burst. You never know what's gonna happen. But God is always there. He's your right-hand man. 
He's the one who is going to help you through every single one of those situations. And afterwards you look back and lots of times you find yourself amazed with the way it all worked out. I know that's happened to me. Sometimes I've just been through a terrible time and I thought, how did I ever make it through that? God did it, not me. I depended upon him for his strength and guidance. Or I never thought I would be able to work this out. Well, you didn't. God did. Trust in him to make sure that he's the one you focus on to take care of all of those situations that you have that are too difficult for all of us. Forget about the emotions that go along with it for a moment. Take time to talk to God about those things. Trust in him to be your right hand man. Okay. I hope you have a good day. We're going to pray for a moment before we leave. But remember, keep God as your right hand man today and every day. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can always rely upon you in every situation, in everything that we do, in every problem that we encounter. We know that you'll always be there to guide us through, to help us, to comfort us, to see that we make it through. No matter how things work out, Lord, we know that you always have what is best in mind for each and every one of us. Thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a good day.